Sing Chiu, a rich young bookworm, Chong Yun's best friend, a character that I thought, oh, a girl, but then realized that he's a trap. <laughs> Push me behind to get me from my better side. I wanna push you back, but that's all you want. Wanna rub me up? I'm holding back, trying to get me framed from me in cost. Said I attacked you. That's just the false truth. No need to argue. And yeah, I've had enough. You follow me anywhere I try to be alone. I find you there. Anyways, in this video, I'll be explaining Sing Chiu's kit, talents and leveling prioritization, artifact builds, recommended weapons, recommended team comms, and how to play Sing Chiu. I've already made guides on various characters, so do check them out if you're interested. Time codes are in the description, so do skip ahead on which info you would like to look on. Also, if you're interested, do chat with me on Twitch or Discord anytime. Links in the description. Anyways, my name is PP and welcome to a Genshin Impact guide video. So how does Sing Chu work? Sing Chu is a Hydro Sword wielding character that can make me wear that deals Hydro damage with both his elemental skill and burst. His elemental skill, Fatal Rain Screen, works as a Hydro application but also dealing Hydro damage. But do keep in mind, Fatal Rain Screen will do a Twin Strike. Meaning Sing Chu will deal the elemental skill within two moves. After using his elemental skill, it creates the maximum number of rain swords, which will orbit around your active character. The rain swords works like a shield, but works less like it as well, as it only provides a bit of tankiness that reduces the amount of damage taken. Rain swords will disappear as your active character on the field gets hit or take damage. The initial maximum number for Sing Chu's rain swords at constellation zero is three. Note the rain swords ability includes applying hydro damage reduction, healing, and utility. Unfortunately, the skill mostly acts as a hydro applier or a battery for his burst. His main kit that actually makes him shine is his elemental burst, which is rain cutter. Haha, <laughs> cutting rain. Okay, never mind, just kill me. This can still proc if you swap out Sing Chiu and put in your main DPS on the field doing normal attacks. And it doesn't even need to hit an enemy. Your rain swords will also remain the max number during the entire duration. Unless you get hit or take damage. Meaning you will have a temporary shield after Sing Chiu pops his burst. This allows him to be a great hydro player and a defensive support. Also proccing one of the strongest elemental reactions which is Vaporize. So for talent leveling, I would suggest elemental burst then elemental skill. Elemental burst is mainly for extra off-field damage. And elemental skill is basically for particle generating and extra damage dealing. Now onto his passives. Raindrops. Sing Chiu gains a total of 20% hydro damage bonus. Hydropathic. When rain swords are shattered or expires, it heals the active character on the field based on 6% of Sing Chiu's max HP. And his last passive. Sing Chiu has a 25% chance of refunding crafting materials when he is used during crafting talent books. Moving on to constellations. C1 gives you an additional rain sword. C2 extends the elemental burst duration by 3 seconds, which is from 15 seconds to 18 seconds. C3 increases burst talent by 3 levels. C4, when it bursts, Sing Chiu's elemental skill deals 50% more damage. C5 increases elemental skill talent by 3 levels. C6, additional rain sword attacks and also regenerate energy for Sing Chiu if rain swords hit. Summary to his constellations, every single constellation is great as it improves his gameplay, damage dealing capabilities, and support capabilities. Oh yeah, one thing before we continue. Do like the video. It helps a lot. Artifact builds for pre-era 45 players, 
3 star options would be 2 piece resolution of Braveheart for extra attack or a 2 piece Excel or scholar set for extra energy recharge. For end game players, there will be 2 sections which is the 2 piece and the 4 piece. For 2 piece options, 2 piece Noblis for extra burst damage, 2 piece Heart of Death for extra hydro damage and a 2 piece Emblem for extra energy recharge. For 4 piece options, 4 piece Noblis or the 4 piece Emblem. A commonly used combination would be both the 2 piece Heart of Death and the 2 piece Noblis as it gives Sing Chu extra hydro damage while also dealing extra damage on his burst. For Sans, attack or energy recharge depending on your weapon choice. For Goblet, hydro damage bonus. And for Circlet, crit rate or crit damage depending on what you need. Recommended weapons. For 5 star options, Jade Cutter and Mid Splitter for an extra crit stat boost and a normal sub DPS build. Scoured Blade gives energy recharge as well as a high base attack. Aquila Favonia and Summon Shaper are not recommended as the substat and passive given does not suit with Sing Chu, but it is presented here as options. For 4 star options, Sacrificial Sword being his best in slot weapon. Favonia's Sword. Lower base attack than the Sacrificial, but does generate a lot of particles for the whole team. Black Sword, for easier crit builds, but does cost you the battle pass. Lion's Roar, a great weapon for Sing Chiu if he is put in a Raiden National Comp. For free to play options, Black Cliff Sword, for easier crit builds, but does cost your Star Glitter. Festering Desire, a great weapon if you have been playing since the 1.2 Genshin event. Emanoma, gives extra attack, but passive is pretty much pointless on Sing Chiu. But it is presented here as an option if you do not have any of the weapons mentioned above. Skyrider Sword, a good option for early game players as it provides energy recharge. And Harbinger of Dawn for easier crit builds. Recommended team comps. Singchu has a lot of team comp options, but I will breeze through with some characters that has good synergy with him. Pyro carries like Hu Tao, Yoimiya, Klee, Yanfei, and Diluc, as well as supports like Xiangling pairs well with him. For vaporize comps. Characters like Ayaka, Ganyu, Rosaria, Taya can work as they fit in perfectly for a freeze comp, especially his BFF Chongyun. Popsicle Bo For Taser comps, characters like Beidou, Raiden, Fischl, and Kaching will pair just nice with Sing Chu. So how to play Sing Chu? Things to take note when using him would be his elemental skill functions as a battery, and his burst is your main source of constant off-field damage. A combo that I would suggest would be Elemental Skill, then Burst. This is to make sure Sing Chu gets the maximum amount of particles before switching out to your main DPS. A combo such as Elemental Skill, then Burst, then Skill again can be executed if you have the Sacrificial Sword equipped on him. My advice, Sing Chu is a character that can shine in both single targeted and AoE situations. He also provides both sustainability and survivability to the party. He pairs well with a lot of characters and gets better with more constellation. And he is also very free to play friendly to play and build. Things that make Sing Chu a bit difficult to play would be his high energy cost and his full potential is unlocked behind his constellations. Long cooldowns can also be a problem as it gates some damage. And also do take note, Sing Chu is a boy, not a girl. He's not a girl, he's not a girl, he's not a girl, he's not a girl. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, do leave a like, subscribe to see more vids like this, and do leave a comment and chat with me on Twitch or Discord anytime. Links in the description. And as always, I'm PP.